Hi, this is Paul from TradeTheFifth.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Monday the 8th of April. Um, I'm going to look at uh, a stock that I've included in my swing trading membership on TradeTheFifth.com there. In the membership area, our members get to watch my daily video every single day and download the spreadsheet with all the orders, the entry points, the stop loss, the targets. Um, the adjustment of trading stops on current open trades, all that sort of stuff is included in the video. Then we download the spreadsheet. And I've been doing these videos for over two and a half years now. And you can look back on all of them, keep up to date. This is one ready for, for Monday the 8th of April there, and that's the video. So let's look at one of the many stocks that I'm looking at today. This has been on my watch list for a while now. This is SSP on the daily time frame. So this is really setting up very well. I'm using our earlier wave indicator suite for the Think or Swim platform. It's also available for Ninja Trader, TradeStation and Multicharts and very soon the MT4 platform. So with SSP, we just to go out a little bit here. We've uh, from these lows uh, from uh, December, we've had a really good growth spurt here on a nice wave three. And then we've recently pulled back on a wave four profit taking pullback, which is normal in a trend. And what we do, that's what we call tradethefifth.com, is trade that fifth wave of the, of the early wave sequence. It is the highest probability move. We've had all the other rules happen. We've met all of those rules. And we're going to talk about just a few of them right now on this wave four pullback. And then that fifth wave is that uh, highest probability move. So let's have a look at this. The wave force pulled back. It's found support in our green probability zones. We've got three pullback zones there. The first green one is an 85% probability. If it finds support in that green zone and starts to move away, we've got an 85% probability it's going to go on and make our automated target zone here for that fifth wave there. So around about 24, 25, something like that is the middle of that target zone there. Uh, and that's automated in our software. Also, the behavior this wave for is very, very important. We've got an, S an, an Elliott wave oscillate here, and that has to pull back on this wave for between 90 and 140%. You can see that's done. Also, specific to our Elliott wave indicator suite, we've got a false breakout stochastic here. This, these yellow lines at the top in the overbought zone denote a very strong bullish trend. And then when the stochastic pulls back against there in the oversold zone and crosses over, the likelihood is it wants to return to this sort of action where it's up in that overbought zone and that strong bullish momentum continues. Okay, so that's a little bit about those, um, the, a few of those rules. Now let's go for the setup. Very, very simple. We've had the wave for our stop loss is just going to be below there, 2081. Now we had a good day on Friday. We just tried to pop out of our. Um, 6-4 moving average high, which is our usual entry for this type of trade uh, on Thursday there. But I just wanted to see the price action on Friday. Sometimes it can be pretty flat in the markets. I wanted that to happen and then put the order on for Monday. So 22.15 is a good entry for this. So it's above the high of Friday. $22 just seemed too much for it Friday as well. So this is sensible entry here. We got increased volume. This is our black box, part of our black box breakout indicator suite as well. I've added that on top of our early wave indicator suite. These green arrows are up, uh, green candles are up candles, but with increased volume. The gray candles are up candles, but lower volume. So as you can see here, we got that increased volume on Friday. That momentum is really picking up. So very, very simple. We've got a great risk reward into our automated fifth wave target zone there, a 1 to 1 1.6, which is my minimum requirement for a swing trade. This is on the daily time frame for SSP. So it could take uh, up to 20 to 25 days. Now it could get there really quickly. Um, depending on the momentum, you see, look at these uh, couple of days here. These are big moves, big candles, uh, loads of volume coming through on there. And that was a big move that could happen again and will be out pretty quickly. But in reality, we're looking 20 days ish to hit our target zone. So for those that are trading options on this, you are probably looking at options that expire towards the end of April would be the safer bet for this sort of thing with a 2431 uh, type 2430. Uh, 
target level there for this potential long on SSP. But it's only good if we go through that 22.15. It might struggle at 22 on Monday. It might not trigger us. So you don't press the trade until it goes through 22.15. Okay, so that is the stock signals video for Monday, the 8th of April. Have a great trading day and I'll speak to you all very soon.